Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun. This anime didn't really catch my interest at first, but with it getting so popular, I was curious to see if it was really that good. In this anime, there are seven wonders of Japanese schools, which are a staple of Japanese urban legends. One of these legends is Hanukkah's son, a ghost that haunts the school bathroom. At Komome Academy, it is said that if someone summons Hanukkah's son, they can get any wish they want granted. The main character Nene tries to summon Hanukkah's son and is successful, but turns out Hanukkah's son is a boy. Nene tries to get her wish of having her crush fall in love with her, but things go horribly wrong, and now she's Hanukkah's assistant. Together, they must make sure to keep the balance between mortals and ghosts. The plot was interesting enough to keep my interest. Basically, Hanukkah and Nene go around school, discovering the dangerous urban legends that students talk about. They learn the truth behind these urban legends, and how students over-exaggerate the extent of these legends. And then they figure out how to clear up the misunderstandings. It was pretty much this for most of the anime series. It was entertaining seeing Hanko and Nene act like detectives, and figure out ways to make these urban legends sound less frightening. The anime basically reminded me of the anime in Spectre. There are some very sad scenes involving the ghosts, that will get you to feel really emotional. It's really sad to see, because these ghosts have wanted to live a peaceful life when they were living, but they are actually treated horribly. Makes you feel really bad for the characters. In terms of mysteries that involve Hanako, it was interesting to watch. I was wondering how Hanako became a ghost, and why does he feel a need to stop these urban legends from getting out of control. Later on, a character that looks like Hanako appears, and can't help but wonder who he is. The anime wraps up these mysteries nicely, as we get detailed flashbacks about the origins of Hanako. The flashbacks did a great job by answering the questions I had about the major mysteries. I'm glad this anime didn't have a read the manga ending where only by reading the manga do you get the major answers to mysteries. I really liked the friendship between Hanako and Nene. They got on each other's nerves at first, but they slowly got to know each other and support each other through tough times. They became such close friends, and it was heartwarming to watch. I really like Hanako as a character. He is so witty and makes such funny remarks. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of his job. Even though he does act cold at times, it's entertaining to see him then act happy and energetic in other scenes. It makes you wonder, just what is his real personality? Nene got my nerves at first with her being so shallow and superficial in terms of looks. She does get some good character developments later on and realizes that looks aren't everything. At the end of the series, I found her okay to watch, but Hanako is a much better character. The opening and ending song for this anime series were alright. I didn't care much for the music throughout the anime. The animation style looked very unique and appealing to watch. The animation looked good overall. I found this as a decent anime to watch if you're bored. It kept me entertained all the way through with the supernatural mysteries and watching Hanako make funny remarks. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.